Greg Ayers, the quiet giant. He let his skating do his talking. Greg rode pools, parks, and pipes. And while riding a pipe, he drew some of the highest lines, both front side and back side. Greg Ayers, he looked super rad on a skateboard. He had his own kind of custom painted helmet. I never got the chance to see him skate in person, but before there was videos, before there was anything, anything you could see on TV or on a film of skateboarding, it was so few and far in between. And then Skateboard Madness comes along and you get to see that, and he's the star of Skateboard Madness with Stacy Peralta. Greg Ayers notes the precise angle of attack as he leaps these king-sized balls at 6'4", and with great upper body strength, he is the master of rock and roll maneuver. Greg Ayers, come on, that dude, how long ago should he have been inducted? Greg Ayers, congratulations, Hall of Fame action. Not only could he skate vert and pipes, he could do 360s, freestyle like a gymnast with his head swinging. The guy was a very well-rounded skateboarder. Well-deserved. He should have been in a long time ago. Greg Ayers, 6'4", rolling with rags, his dog. Pepsi team, Ripper. Definitely deserving Hall of Fame. In case you didn't know, Greg Ayers was on the cover of the original Skateboarder magazine three times. And you know what? The first time you ever saw someone riding a pipe, it was probably Greg Ayers. Oh, Greg, it's really good to see you in. Congratulations, brother. You deserve it. <laughs>